So I'm getting ready to do another glaze fire. It's mostly refires, um, with the exception of maybe one pot in there. So this is the bottom shelf. I got to put in the other one and might be able to get everything on that shelf. Oh, that's uh -huh. the second shelf and I've got everything in. Whoops. I see there's a little bit too close there. And maybe this one is too. There. Okay. So we'll close her up and see what happens. Okay. So I got the kiln opened. <clears throat> Let's have a look inside and see what happened. This is mostly this is mostly refires. Um, my kiln temperature right now is 88 degrees, but I think it's okay to take stuff out of here. So this plate, I guess, we'll start with it. <clears throat> um, it's still bubbled, and this is probably the third time I fired that. I'm not really sure what the problem is. It's glacier glaze. I was reading that it can be finicky sometimes. So I guess this one, I'm not going to refire it again. It's going to the boneyard. It's obviously not gonna get any better. My other plate, this one here, <laughs> not really sure what happened to that. I had originally put lavender mist on it. And instead of coming out like purple, it came out this horrible brown. And I also find that lavender mist is a little bit finicky too, <clears throat> because it does not always come out the nice purpley color. I put something else over that, just a second. I meant to look that up before I started this and I forgot. And this is not my blazing book. So, what did I put over that? Uh, I added Smoky Merlot, two coats. Yeah, and it, I don't know why it went all weird like that. It's got these weird little lines all over it. I think the only thing I can do with that is maybe to put an overglaze transfer on it and I might be able to save it. So it's going to go on the shelf and probably be there for a while because I don't have any overglaze transfers right now, anything else to do that with. So these were my coasters, and I had put, um, oh, salt, um, oh, I can't think, um, sea salt on that, and they didn't look very good. So I put Norse Blue over them, and yes, they're much better now. I can live with it. So those are okay. And that was, oh, that got a bubble in it. Wow. Now that is strange. Huh. Okay. Now this was a, oh, that's got bubbles all over it too. What the heck is going on here? What did I have on that? I had textured turquoise <clears throat> and I put smoky Merlot and oatmeal over it. And I got all those funny little bubbles. <laughs> this one was teal under glaze, which I didn't like. I should have watered it down more and it just was really way too bright. So I put, so 
something over that. I don't know. Smoky Merlot and oatmeal. Now that was Smoky Merlot and oatmeal. <clears throat> well, I can't say I really like that either. But it is what it is, I guess. So this little bowl was ancient copper. And I think I had put seaweed <clears throat> and maybe oatmeal on that. And I refired it because the seaweed didn't really show up too much. Oh, I had obsidian inside and seaweed inside and oatmeal on the edge. <clears throat> That's what I did. Um, and ancient copper on the outside. Um, it's okay. I'm not crazy about it, but. And these little garden um, planter stake things, they had little bubbles on them. I forget what you call them, but I see that refiring them didn't really do anything. They're there to stay, I guess, so. That's those. Oh, and here's my cone pack. So, <clears throat> hmm. Must be, no. Well, that's totally weird. <laughs> this would have been my cone six. This would have been my cone five, I guess. So my cone five went down, but it caught onto the cone six. So, oh, sorry, I'm not even in the camera here. Yeah, so <clears throat> I definitely got cone five, probably a soft cone six, which, which, which is what I was hoping for. I put a 15 minute hold on it this time rather than a 10 minute hold. So I'm just gonna take okay. this off now. This is the platter, which also had glacier on it and bubbled really bad and the bubbles are pretty much gone you got some something there i don't know what that is along the edge but it does look better than what it did um yeah so i think that's probably just gonna be good enough. It's just for my own use, so I'm not too worried about it. And these are the rest of the coasters. <clears throat> and a little bit of bubbling on that one too. Huh. And I sort of lost some of the texture on that. So I think maybe I will do them differently next time. But those are just for me, so I can live with it. Uh, that is another one of those little garden flowers. <clears throat> you can put water in for your little insects, butterflies to get a drink of, or just have it as a garden ornament. So that didn't, oh yes, that had that teal underglaze on it and I forgot to put the clear on it. So that's, I put clear on it. I think I would thin it out much more next time though. It's a little bit too heavy for my liking. So that's that. I'm just gonna shut the camera off while I take the shelf Okay, get the shelf out. So this cone, stuck onto this cone, but it looks like it probably was going to go down. <clears throat> I put them too close together, I guess. I don't know. I've never had that really. Oh, I know what I did. I put them in the wrong order. I should have had this one over here. So cone six, whether, well, it's hard to say because this one stuck to it. So it probably would have gone down further. 
Don't know where my head was at when I did those, but anyway. So this one here is a refire. Um, I was trying to get rid of these little funny, don't know what they were. They just didn't quite cover, but I'm not going to fire that again. That's it. I'm done with that. Um, this is another bowl. Oh, yes. It was very dark on the outside. It was like, sort of like that, all on the outside. And I put Norse Blue over it. Just much prettier. But it looks like it got a bit distorted. <clears throat> but definitely better. That'll be going in the house. Doesn't have to get refired again. Oh, and here's my funny little <laughs> jug that I fired like three times now. It was a horrible, ugly green. Um, it's much better, but it's still not. I guess it's okay. It's much better than what it was. So, okay, what else have we got in here? Um, this is a bud vase, <clears throat> which I think I put Celadon Bloom over that. Oh, I'm thinking what was wrong with that. I didn't really like the way it came out. Um... Mm. I'm not sure. So I have another one in here. <clears throat> Which I have put ancient copper on. And I definitely did not like it. And I still don't like it. But I did what with that now? <clears throat> Put oatmeal around the middle. I had obsidian, ancient copper, and I put oatmeal around the middle, and that's sort of how it came out. Um, not crazy about it. And this one, I'm not sure what I did with that. It had blue hydrangea. put two coats of blue hydrangea on that, but there was something else underneath that. I think it was one I made from a long time ago, and I didn't like the way it came out. So I'm not really sure it's something I could never do again because I don't know what the original glaze was that was on it. Um, this is another refire candle dish. Still don't like it. It's not really doing what I wanted it to do, so. I'm not refiring it again either. So this was a vase, which was basically all like that. And what did I do with that one? I don't see it here. I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm really not sure what I put on there. I just don't see that vase anywhere. I know I wrote it down. But I do not see it. I 
interesting. Nope, I don't know. I don't know what I did to it. It's definitely better than what it was. So, sorry, I keep forgetting I have to look and make sure I got it in the camera. Okay, so there is, this was a refire <clears throat> and nothing really changed on that too much. I should have rewrote these down, <clears throat> wrote them over again so I could find them. I put ancient copper, two coats over that. But it didn't really change color very much, so. And I'm not really sure why this here one looks so strange. <laughs> it doesn't look like I put anything on it. I'm not really sure. It almost looks like I just fired it again without glazing it, but I thought I had put glaze on it. But it's definitely matte. Wow. <laughs> Very strange. And the other one down here is just a small planter. And, uh, I think I had obsidian on that <clears throat> seaweed and oatmeal on the edge and it really just didn't do anything else at all. Not really sure. But it's just a planter so it doesn't matter. So that's it for the refire. <laughs> Not exactly a great one. Okay, just as winding up, um, I think I would just like to say that the refire was quite disappointing. And of course, refires are never a given. You don't know what's going to happen. If, especially if you're putting different glazes over top of glazes that you've already done and they're not glazes that you're familiar with or you're familiar how they're going to interact with one another. Um, when I went to college, we weren't taught to destroy our stuff. We kept everything. We fired it. We glazed it. We went home with it. We got marked on it. Like, I wish back then that they had taught us to not keep everything. I think when you're learning, it's really important not to get so attached to a piece that if it's not good enough, you can't just throw it out and start over again. It takes a lot of time and effort to reglaze pieces and refire them, especially when they don't come out. I could have made these pieces all over again and probably had them done and bisked and glazed and fired and all the time and effort it's taken me to reglaze these pieces and refire them two and three times. Some of them I had sort of an attachment to and I was hoping I could save them, but sometimes you just have to let it go. So that's my advice for today. If a piece is not good enough, don't be afraid to throw it out and start over because the more you do it, the better you'll get. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Have a great day. Bye.